Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again and uh, it's been a long time that we have not uh, heard each other due to this uh, pandemic okay let me present to you this uh, figure which is a balance delta y load system it is a given uh, the phase uh, voltage VAN which is uh, 240 and the line voltage uh, VAB which is 240 square root of 3 and the phase angle 80 degrees and we also have this uh, delta load uh, impedance which is 18 plus uh, GA and active load and it's a balance and both three pieces are the same uh, load impedance now let's go to the next slide here and we are about to ask the question for questions here uh, find the phase angle of the y source phase voltage 240b what is the equivalent zy impedance of the transform delta to y load circuit number three what is the line current ila in the transform y load system and number four is uh, we have to find the phase current IAB in the original delta load circuits. Let's go to the next slides, and we have this figure A. Now we are about to solve this uh, phase angle of this 240 volt here. What we're gonna do is take this. Uh, uh, Y source and uh, bring this to Y phasor diagram here in figure B and so we have it here this is the one and we have the VAB here going there up there and we have the 240 V phase VA over there and it has a 30 degrees negative 30 degrees uh, phase shift angle what does it mean it tells us that uh, this uh, VA voltage of 240 here this one the VA voltage here is uh, lagging or less than 30 degrees and the BAB 240 80 degrees so what does it mean it means that uh, the, this uh, 80 Degrees angle phase angle is minus 30 is the phase angle of the 200 BAN 240 uh, 50 degrees angle by virtue of this. Okay, we have answered the first question. Now let's go to the next question. Okay, we have this. Uh, this one is already transformed from the delta. This one is already transformed from the delta to this y. Okay. Now what happens here is that <coughs> Okay, where are we now? We have to find for the zy. That's impedance uh, y uh, using this delta original delta here and so what's this you have to get this times these two phases any any two phases here in the delta either this one or this one or anything but just two phases you times it c times z divided by the uh, summation of the three phases the a plus z a plus c and you will get the c a3 then you have to divide the impedance of this delta here by 3 and you will get the zy this one 6 plus j and uh, this is the one here for the y, for the y source uh, transform transformation okay now we are about to ask this uh, this uh, ila this transformation from uh, uh, 
delta to y lows okay now uh, the, we have to get this thing first uh, to connect this new neutral here and now we find this neutral this is a voltage actually so uh, we can uh, simplify this uh, closed loop circuit with the phase A transform the Y load this one and get this this then we transform it to here so it's now easy to find the ILA and that ILA is equals to VAN ZY and uh, the ILA becomes this one we have this 23.54 the magnitude is 35.88 so if you want to get this ILB you just have to minus the uh, 120 degrees and the plus 120 degree phase shift angle because they are balanced load okay so let's go to that answers the question of number two and number three now we go to question number four question number so is uh, we are asked to find the phase the uh, current in this okay this one the phase current in the delta uh, load by way of the Kirchhoff's current low okay this is a node here get the mode uh, all those currents are going to the node ILA and ICA will be ILA plus ICA minus the IAB here because it is uh, moving away from the node so what does it mean? that means that uh, okay this is the ILA plus this one ILA plus uh, ICA is equal to ICA so what about this one? this ILA is equals to IAB is equals to I uh, I mean minus ICA he has to take this opposite of the ICA this one which is negative ICA we have this I IAB and we have the load here so what happens here is that this load ILA plus the IAB plus the negative ICA so ILA is equals to IAB minus the IACA and uh, we find this I phase uh, I phase is the ILA of a square root of 3 plus the phase angle plus 30 degrees so we have this ILA the magnitude of 35.8 square root of 3 angle of 53.44 okay that answers a question number four answer so there you go folks that's all please subscribe and share for more engineering and trivia calculations stay safe always thanks